All right, some exciting news. Our little sandwich is officially back open. Today is February 1st and they opened up and Raul's already waiting in line for us. Hello. Oh, you could hear me. That's right. What were you saying? I'm like, oh, you could hear me. Oh, <laughs> so there is a little line, but this is like the whole line apparently. Like later it's going to get a little bit more busy, I'm pretty sure. It is like 12 right now. There is a line, but it's worth it, right? Very worth it. I'm so excited. But... Me too. See how busy it's here? Wow. Not too bad for too the first bad. day of opening. That is true, within the first hour. I was thinking it was going to be huge lines. We do. We're lucky. Check out we're the, lucky. The menu There's right still now. a good amount of people outside, like in the seating area. Yeah. So that means there has been a lot of people in here. So here's the full menu breakfast sandwiches, the regular sandwiches, salads, the wraps. Here's the soups, kids' menu, or the combo. Here's the bigger menu. Okay, and then uh, the first register is open for you guys. Perfect, thank you. And right now they do give you a buzzer so you could just wait out here in the seating area while your food is ready. Got a oh. drink as well. <laughs> and right now they did say it is cart only. So they prepared for that. Oh, that was bad. <laughs> Whoa, that's big. And it's like a giant burrito. All right, so I got the ham and Swiss sandwich. And it's basically just ham and Swiss. <laughs> <laughs> With mustard and I forgot what else. But it's nice, warm, toasted. Our little sandwich is back. <laughs> it's back. <laughs> they know how to make a sandwich. They do. A really, really good scent. Uh, good thing I brought napkins. Things. You always forget to grab napkins. It's a good thing I got them. <laughs> you think they put a little bit of cheese, but no, it is loaded with cheese. And I was going to get that. It looks <laughs> so good. I should have gotten that. Let me show up. Can't yeah. talk before I try mine. <laughs> it's nice, toasted, super warm, cheese super melted. The mustard. I love mustard. So this, I don't know. That's a perfect sandwich. 10 out of 10. 5 out of 5, whatever it is. <laughs> so I decided to get the chicken Caesar wrap, which I've never heard of one like that. So it's interesting. So it's basically a salad and a burrito. And I'm actually going to cut it in half. So, or like a piece. So I don't you know, just get the bread. <laughs> it has croutons in it. It does. Yeah. Right, cool. Try a little bit of everything. Mm. Mm. This is surprisingly really good. You know I love salads. I love Caesar salads. So just like the tortilla, and that it's flour tortilla, I think it's a good combination. I think maybe just a little bit more dressing, because it's mostly salad. But I would say maybe like a four out of five. Only because I think a little bit more dressing would be good. Like I so said, it's like- your own ranch today. I know, and I always carry my ranch everywhere I go. But it's a solid thing. I just, if you get a sandwich, I would recommend. All right, and this is the mac and cheese. The Ooh. legendary. <laughs> last time we had oral sandwich, it was almost the last couple of days it was closing. Mm -hmm. And we didn't even know about oral sandwich before that. Like we didn't really like go, like we just didn't care. Yeah, we I, would always see it, but we'd always be like, oh. Yeah, because well, I don't like sandwiches. You know, yeah. you know, I don't <laughs> like sandwiches. So it was like, like weird, you know? Like, but then I was like, oh, try it, I guess, because you really wanted to yeah. try it. And I ended up loving it, and I also sat it close like a week later. <laughs> <laughs> but from what I remember last time, we really loved the mac and cheese. Let's see the hype is real. From what I remember, it was more toasty last time we got yeah, it. Yeah, I was thinking now that. Now it's like super, really creamy. But, let's see. Oh, 
Look at that creaminess. Ooh, that's dense. <laughs> like it feels heavy. Super cheesy, super creamy. It's, it's a solid mac and cheese. Does For it sure? compare to last time? What do you remember? The hype? We hyped it up so much. Last time it was like toasted in the top. I do recall. Like the Popeyes one. <laughs> Unless we're taking them. <laughs> no, it was this one. I remember it was toasted, right? we we bought one and then we were like, that was good because we shared the first one and we're like, oh, that was yeah. good. And then we're like, now we want our own. So then we bought another one to share again. Yeah. <laughs> but if you like creamy mac and cheese, this is for sure is for you. It's not one dry spot inside. Uh, super creamy, super cheesy. But this will get you full from the mac and cheese alone. It's, what do you think? I would give it a 4.5 just because it's not toasted on the top. And we love some like toasty it needs mac and that cheese. Contrast like of how rich it is. But it's it's really solid. It's totally recommend. Alright, so we just finished eating at Earl Sandwich. La Brea Bakery. Bakery. Formerly known as the Boya Breaker. <laughs> or the location. The location, not the restaurant. <laughs> and what do you think? I really, really enjoyed it. They didn't have my favorite sandwich. But it's okay. I'll wait until they add it back. It was the Hawaiian, right? Something like it was that. Something Hawaiian. It was good. It was my first sandwich I've ever eaten in my life. <laughs> it was good. <clears throat> but I got the wrap, so it's okay. <laughs> I mean, price wise, I feel like it's worth it compared to like what you would pay in a theme park for a mm -hmm. sandwich. In the theme park, they will range you from like 15. Here, they range from like 8 to 10 Pretty for a sandwich. Much. So I feel like it's worth it. The mac and cheese. Oh, I'm oh, like the light. I'm like the sun. <laughs> um, the mac and cheese, just toastedness, please toast it, toast it. <laughs> but yeah, um, overall, it's probably one of my favorite places here in Disney. For me, it does. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. gotta be. It's a, it's, it's a perfect lunch spot. Yeah, especially now since like the entrance to DCA is like right over here, and you just gotta walk right here instead of all the way down. But then if you're staying at the Disney Hotel where it was, it was right next to the Disney Hotel. Yeah, but like if you're at the park. <laughs> Like even this land you just, I'm like the light didn't go back. Like even if you're in the park, like you just come out of this land and it's literally right here. That is here true. Now. But so, it, it is getting busier actually. Like it's yeah, slowed down it is right getting now. Getting busier. But... It was hard to find a table. I remember and now them there's having... like there's like two tables available. <laughs> yeah, I remember them having way more tables for Library mm -hmm. Bakery, but maybe later. Know. Yeah, they, maybe they... later. Um, well, I was just right... gonna say that it was so packed right now that they added like one table i think right oh, now. Yeah, they had another table which yeah, pretty cool but the line is getting longer that is for sure it's i probably, think for sure after like lunch like around lunch hour i think it's gonna be really busy yeah about yeah like a lunch hour it's gonna get busy but it's a sandwich you could come and sit and like, they're right actually out pretty fast i need it, it. Came out pretty quick actually. yeah it's it pretty quick but overall 100 percent recommend this place <laughs> it's cheap right outside of disney just walk Instead of paying $15 for like a sad sandwich in there, I would rather come right out here. But yeah, hopefully you guys could try it out. 